welcome back to my YouTube channel and let's get it fucking popping. I'm really excited for this video because we are going to do uh, trying a different fitness boutique every single day and rating them. And so today I'm going to Lifetime. I'm not going to my Lifetime, but I am going to Lifetime. Um, and uh, there's a lot of things that it, it in you guys, one thing that you have to understand is depending on the format of the class, like what type of class it is, there are different, I guess, criteria, I would say. Um, I'm always going to always, always, always talk about the energy of the instructor because that's a non-negotiable. Um, but musicality, like is it a music-driven class? Like yes, obviously a lot of classes are going to be bumping music, but is it rhythmic? Like spin, yoga sculpt, like those are rhythmic classes. Um, so I'm going to AMP, that is a rhythmic class. Um, believe it or not, some people do still teach rhythmic classes that, and they like don't have any rhythm. So I know that's not the case because Christine, the instructor, I have taken her class many, many times. Um, but yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm getting going this morning. My legs are sore as hell because I, I did legs today's Thursday. I did legs on freaking Monday and I'm still so sore, but let's hit it. Let's hit it. We go forever now. We go forever now. Yeah. You know that I'm a just sad. You can say you can do better. Uh. No, no, I won't let him. Uh. We go forever now. Another day, another sleigh, honey. Okay, today we're going to Barry's. Let's work out. The coach, someone I've never taken before. Their name is Alex. His name is Alex. And uh, it's taking everything in me to go. Like, I need a lot of fucking moral support for this one. And I'm going to take some pre workout. Um, but yeah, I clearly sound like I have a cold. Oh, by the way, we're going to go to the workout and then I'm going to talk about lifetime and then I'm going to talk about berries and, um, the workout that I did yesterday, which you saw was spin. So anyways, I know I didn't really talk about it and that's because I was really busy yesterday. So why am I out of breath? Um, but yeah, I'm obviously, I sound sick. I am sick and I also have my period. And so I'm like extremely exhausted, like extremely exhausted. So I thought about trying to like do a later class. Um, cause it's, this one's at 420 <laughs> blaze it, but <laughs> I hate myself. Um, but anyways, yeah, I have like 700 dogs here right now. I'm dog sitting, so that's what's going on. But actually, you know what? Let's talk about lifetime right now. So, like I said, class I went to yesterday is Christine. She's one of the people who like got me started in teaching spin. So she teaches a great class. She knows what she's doing when it comes to music, musicality, the beat. She has very high energy. Um, spin's not a class you can teach if you're not like woo 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 like myself. Um, because it's extremely high energy. Like imagine taking a teacher that was like, okay, we're gonna do this in three, two, one, go. Okay, go, you know, like boring. I also will say lifetime's the best bang for your buck because you can take so many different classes or you can go work out in the gym by yourself. You know what I mean? Versus like if I have a membership at Barry's, Orange Theory, wherever, you like that's the only kind of class you can do and like I don't want to do a berries class every day I don't want to do like only yoga sculpt every day so it's just much more balanced and I feel like you can reach your fitness goals a lot more easily if you're if you have a membership like that versus elsewhere um just because it's not I don't want to do this same exact workout every single day ever like never do I want to do that so Let's go to Barry's. Never taken this instructor. I believe he's like the guest instructor here for a month from LA. So should be good, should be lit. Okay, now that I'm up, because I was just laying down for a little bit, I am feeling a lot more ready to party. So let's go. Wait, should we take pre-workout? When I see you, I go Google Nets. I have that stuck in my head that was so annoying. I personally, just raw dog this shit. I put it down the hatch, open her up, put it right down the hatch. 
Um, this is the Ghost Legend, and it is. it does have caffeine. They have one that's caffeine-free, but here we go. Oh, I forgot to take creatine this week. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, hi. Sorry the lighting is kind of weird. Um, also got my nails done the last time you saw me. They were raggedy. But I am on to the next. I'm going to Core Power today. I'll tell you more about that in a second, but I wanted to talk about berries. So I really like berries. I actually used to be like, no, I like Orange Theory better, but I like berries better. And, um, it's also, like, I used to coach at Orange Theory, so I was, like, biased, but then I was, like, I actually hated coaching there, like, hated it. Um, the owners, like, of my franchise were really mean, and I really didn't like them. Um, send me a cease and desist. I don't care. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, the coach that I had at Berries, he coaches in LA, and he was here for the month, and I've been to Nashville Berries, I've been to, um... Chicago berries. I've been to a couple and he was hands down the best coach I've ever had. His energy was so good. It wasn't even like a massive class, but it was just like very, very good energy as well as you could just tell he knew his shit. The music was fire. He utilized like the lights and the music volume a lot more than I've seen other instructors do there, which I really appreciate because that's something that like I do a lot in my classes. It really just... You know gets y'all hyped up um so loved it need to go back to his classes at one point during class i i was like woo like when he said something he was like let me just put you on the mic why don't you just teach and i was like well i actually am an instructor not here obviously but actually i'm a teacher um he was like oh my god no way and then he like came up to me and i was like yeah i teach a lot of spin and he I was doing bicep curls. He's like, come on, girl, get the rhythm. Like, I know you know from spin. It was funny. Um, so I really like that. I found, like, at Barry's, there can be, like, a lot of instructors. And it's hard, I will say, like, teaching in a room with um, all mirrors. You're, like, constantly looking at yourself. But sometimes it gets to be a bit excessive, like, with instructors. And I'm like... Okay, I get it, checking yourself out, but there's a point where you need to realize, like, this class isn't about you, it's about us, and that's, like, one big thing that, like, I think about during classes is, like, how the instructor is, like, coaching, like, is it about what I can do, or is it about, like, helping you guys reach what you can do, do you know what I mean by that? Um, so, he was really awesome, now I'm going to Core Power, um, and this is the core power that I used to be the manager of. And I'm actually um, taking a class of someone who I don't know who they are, which I'm more excited about, to be honest, than like taking a class of someone who I do know. Um, and every time I've like came back to core power, people are like, oh, like, do you ever think about like being an instructor? And I'm like, I was, I used to be here, but your pay is terrible. You literally pay zero dollars. Like I don't even want to say how much I got paid when I was at Core Power because it's offensive. Um, but I took a class at Core Power when I was in Chicago and the teacher was really bad. And like at one point I was literally like counting on my hands. Like they were down by my sides. I wasn't like, but I was counting on my hands because I was like, this girl cannot catch a beat and it's driving me crazy because musicality for yoga sculpt is so important. It is so freaking important. And um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but kind of blast from the past. I guarantee I'll see like 75 people I know here. So, Liz.
All right, guys, let's have a chai and chat about that. One thing that I miss is working at this core power. What's on my finger? Oh, working at this core power. Um, there's whoops, a really, really, really good coffee shop literally in the same building. But we have the same coffee shop downtown, not that far from where I live. So anyways... I wish I had good news, but <clears throat> the teacher, she, like, had very, like, good and kind energy. Um, some of the, like, music and beat stuff was really off, and she said that your rotator cuff was in your chest, and I'm like, that's just not true. There was also some guy doing some whack shit in class. Like, he was adding on, like, this stuff and doing it really sloppy. And 95% of the time when people do that kind of shit in classes, it's just so, like, your form is just so incorrect. And it, you're not even benefiting yourself at all. Um, but, so, yeah, that's kind of how the class went. I, like, kind of in the beginning was like, I need to leave. I can't, I can't do this. Um, but yeah anyways um now is the first time in like a very 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 long time actually i don't know that they've ever done this but now core power hires teachers that weren't trained through them which used to be the standard at core power like you could not work there if you were not trained by core power um but that's not the case anymore because they need teachers um and i was just thinking about like what my salary was when I worked there when I was a manager there and you guys do you want to know how much money I made I made $350 a week that was my that was my salary as a manager on top of like teaching a ton that was how much money I made and I'm like I cannot believe that <clears throat> anyways that has nothing to do with the class I wanted to give the class the benefit of the doubt but I don't know I was just not like it's also 9 30 on a Sunday morning in theory a 9 30 Sunday morning class should be packed and it wasn't but whatever on to on to the next I actually don't know what boutique I'm gonna do tomorrow maybe like orange theory or something or there's a couple others downtown that I also could do so TBD stay tuned as per usual hi camera I'm right here um, I'm running late but we are on our way I'm going to alter which is a local they have two locations but it's a local workout place and their coaches are really good because one thing sometimes that happens is with local fitness places their coaches can be a bit questionable but I've been there before I actually used to go there like religiously um, and so yeah we are on our way that's where i'm heading i was actually gonna go to alchemy this morning which started local now they have other locations i'm not sure exactly where all their locations are but i actually really dislike their workout and i really dislike their workout programming and i couldn't get myself to do it at 7 a.m i was like absolutely not i can't deal with this this morning so i was gonna go alchemy and alter like a hardo but we're just going to alter because it's still gonna kick my ass so let's go I'm literally gonna be running in at the time that the class starts actually like one minute late so hopefully they let me in <laughs> Let's chat. That was such a good workout, you guys. It was 50 minutes long. I'll tell you my stat. Um, 50 minutes long, I burned 351 active calories, which is a lot for me because typically, like, in a workout, if I burn even over, like, 250, I'm like, oh, wow, I burned a lot of calories just because, I don't know, my body's, like, more used to it. Um what I kind of like to think about like after these workouts evaluating like is it worth the bang for your buck number one the instructor court his like energy and personality is infectious like there's no way you can leave without like just smiling and being happy um number two 
It's a super well-rounded workout and it's honestly something that you could do every day. Like, <clears throat> For example, I personally like don't want to do berries every day. I don't want to do Orange Theory every day, but they switch it up so much there. There's ski ergs, there's TRX straps, there's lightweights, there's heavyweights, there's kettlebells, there's med balls, there's boxes, there's, you know, like they switch it up so much and the days have focus. Like, I mean, I know that um, berries does like upper body, lower body, full body, um, Orange Theory doesn't technically do it like that. They do uh, strength, power, and endurance days. So that has to do with the tread programming, not as much with the floor pr programming as it pertains to muscle groups. Um, so yeah, also I wanna say, all of these places I bought drop-ins and I'm pissed off because I bought a drop-in for Alchemy and obviously I didn't go this morning. 28 fucking dollars for Alchemy. Um, for Alter, I bought a two class pack for 30 bucks. And number one, like I'm willing, I will pay 40 or $50 for a drop-in if I know that the workout is worth it. Alchemy, not worth it. Alter, I would have paid $30 for one class. Um, Orange Theory is $28 for one class, and that's one thing is Alchemy, since technically it like started off as a local um, company or local gym, I guess. Um, I'm kind of like, y'all, y'all are charging too much, but I remember during COVID for a while, they, and I religiously also used to do Alchemy in tandem with being a cheerleader I was working out so fucking hard but I was also really strong and probably in the best shape I've ever been in but at Alchemy um I'm like this is like a local ish place like why it there's no reason it should be that expensive for what the workout is because you either do a 10 or a 20 and you do like a warm-up at the beginning that's like kind of BS yoga um, and then you do 10 minutes of a workout or 20 minutes of a workout and then you're done granted It is like an intense 10 or 20 minutes, but I don't know typically I like like a 50 minute workout with a good warm-up a nice cool down But like for at least 40 minutes of the workout you're working like that's That's where I'm that's where I sit. That's where it feels good for me um, I like alter too because like I pushed it really hard it's all about like how hard I want to push as the student as a member like how hard you want to push um, but you can leave feeling or not feeling like you're gonna like completely throw up and die um, which is good because if you are wanting to do a workout every single day um, you probably don't want to feel like that every single day granted there are like times in your training where like hell yeah push hard but um, not every single day so anyways that's my two cents alter five star review for them because I I've been an altar stand for a long time but anywho that's what I got for you tomorrow you guys we're going to Orange Theory and I'm also going to tell you the tea of working at Orange Theory um, when I worked there so stay tuned for that good morning we are going to Orange Theory today do, 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 do. Um, today's my last day of doing a different fitness boutique every day what I will say about it, I definitely obviously went some places that I wouldn't normally go. They're not like part of my normal routine. And it's so hard like <clears throat> getting yourself to places that um, like aren't your usual because it's like I have this normal routine. I don't want to have to get there early so I can like figure it out or like get signed up or like do they have a current card on file? For, like all that type shit is just annoying to deal with. But I'm going to Orange Theory. I have no, hold on, I'm gonna switch hands. My arm's getting tired. I have no idea who the coach is. Um, just as long as it's not my ex-boyfriend, we'll be fine. Um, but yes, I used to work at Orange Theory. The reason why I don't anymore, well A, because I am full-time at Lifetime, and B, um, I hate it. And I just like really don't like, um, like pre-programmed workouts I like to write my own workouts I just really like do not resonate with pre-programmed workouts I just feel 
I don't know, I don't feel connected to them. So, like, having to demonstrate and, like, explain them to people, even if, like, I don't like it or it's not, like, a move I would choose, I just, like, really didn't like that. I also really didn't like the owners. And let me tell you this. Um, sorry if that's loud. So, I was at my friend's on Saturday night. And, um, she was like, oh, yeah, like, I used to coach at Orange Theory. And I was like, oh, no way, so did I. Like, I only coached for, like, three or four months. And, um, then... I was like, why don't you coach her anymore? She's like, I really did not like the owners. Well, come to find out, we coached at the same Orange Theory. She coached there like a couple years earlier than I did, but I'm like, well, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Anywho, 28 bucks for a drop in at Orange Theory. Again, that's the same as Alchemy. I don't mean to like keep like talking smack at Alchemy, but I don't know. It just annoys me. Anywho, you guys, let's go to Orange Theory. Let's work this shit out and wrap this shit up. Bye. I'm an All right, y'all. I needed to film this because I needed to talk about Orange Theory before I forgot everything that I wanted to say. Um, literally today is the longest day of my life. It is 6.30 p.m. I have been here since 6 a.m. I went home once though because I needed to change, but yeah, I've been working, it's a long day. But I like literally, it's two days later now and I just needed to film the outro part of this video. But we left off, I went to Orange Theory. It was a good class, I will say. One thing that I really noticed, okay, so you have to know that when you get trained at Orange Theory, one thing that they really teach you and like really emphasize is like you need to like give every single member like a correction or like a, oh, you're good at doing it this way, like let's make it more challenging this way. And there's definitely a time and place for that in coaching, but as someone like who takes classes who also knows just about fitness and about working out, I like, don't want that every single time like I don't want the coach to come up to me like multiple times per class and be like here put this BOSU under your feet to me like I just I'm not always in the mood for it um and the coach he had a great energy like I said he was someone that I didn't know before he had a super good energy and um but I could tell one thing that like there's multiple ways to connect with people when you're coaching them, right? One is like personal connections and knowing things about people's lives or, you know, whatever. Um, and another one is connecting in, you know, via the exercise and, you know, telling them, well, you'll really feel it more in your glutes if you like press through your heels or, you know, you're giving them a little bit more technical corrections. And one thing that I noticed with the coach was there was less technical corrections or, feedback more like personal level connecting which they're again time and a place like I love to be connected to my coaches in that way but you know you also want to be told you know I want to know why this workout is written the way it is can I speak to the workout um, can I tell you if it's an endurance a strength or a power day yada yada and so I think like there's some room for improvement there but you know especially like if you're a newer coach starting out it feels really intimidating to give those like physical corrections you know like verbally correcting them but on their like physical exercise um because you're like what if i say something wrong you know like it's just much easier for me to be like oh my god i love your tattoo you know what i mean so um but everyone gets there it takes time and you can't you can't just be amazing overnight but l i want to talk about like what i personally think from a semi unbiased opinion is the best bang for your buck what i would actually like spend my money on so what i would do if like and mind you like some people have apartments like at their gyms or gyms at their apartment so like they don't care they'll use that if they need to work out on their own but um like to go to a fitness boutique um and in that sense to be honest like 
you are gonna get the most bang for your buck. I would either prefer Lifetime or I'd prefer Berries. And the reason why is because at Berries, if you don't wanna run on the treadmill um, every day, you can also do double floor where you can actually get some good strength in. And I feel like that is like a little bit lacking and typically they encourage you to like not use super, super heavy weights at Orange Theory. Like I've never felt like a coach tells you to use like oh use like 15 to 20 pounds which for like a deadlift isn't really sh anything um so in that regard lifetime you can take strength classes you could take a yoga class you could take a foam rolling class you know there's so many different varieties which personally for like where my fitness is at and where my mind is at i need the variety of a bunch of different workouts i it's just way too monotonous to do a yoga sculpt every single day like if you had core power you could do yoga sculpt c1 c2 or hot yoga and that's it um so Essentially, you know, you're always doing yoga, but some days I might not feel like I want to do yoga other than that Okay, where else did I go? I went to lifetime. I went to core power. I went to alter. Oh, yeah, I loved alter I need to tell you how much I loved it also some good variety in there But very like you will have a hit workout like expect to do cardio but I find them to also be very affordable, so it's a great like class pack option. Um, but I don't know, I kind of like the the shine of Orange Theory for me, especially since I coached there, has kind of rubbed off because I just like I don't know, I'm over the workouts. I don't think it takes like a lot of skill for to like be given a workout and just like recite it and not like really speak much to it. I don't think that makes like the most experienced or like knowledgeable coach of course it can like there are great coaches at orange theory that's not to say but i just personally as someone who like really appreciates what effort is put into creating the workout i just don't really like prefer that anyways i hope that this was helpful you guys there's so many different um fitness boutiques i could definitely hit i could hit even more like local ones um i love going to like a new fitness boutique that i can't normally go to whenever i'm like out of town too um just to like try it out and see what it's like and i think that's what someone like in the fitness industry that's a good connoisseur of fitness does because it's so easy to get tunnel vision and be like i can only only go to like where I work or whatever you know but like if you really want to know the market you are gonna go like all over you're gonna know who the teachers are and I feel like I have I'm kind of well connected like I know a lot of people at a lot of fitness places because I've been in this world for a while and I've also coached many different places or people have like came and take taken my classes and then be like oh I'm a coach too you know so it's fun to have that camaraderie and um create those relationships because there is a community outside of just like outside of core power outside of lifetime or outside you know outside of wherever it is that you coach or that you train and I think that is also important to lean into um as a fitness instructor as a coach you know you can always be networking you can always be creating relationships um so kind of a fun way to like mix up my fitness routine but now i need to get back to lifting because i was thinking that the other day i lifted for the first time in a while and i was like "Ooh, it has been a while and you know you kind of lose that like intrinsic motivation to like want to push yourself and all that all that jazz so anyways I hope you guys like this video I'm sorry that it's been a little bit over a week since I posted it it's it'll be like a week and a half by the time I get this video up but I hope you enjoy I love you guys please 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 give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far because it really supports me keeps me motivated even if I get like three thumbs up on my video I'm like all right, I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Anyways, you guys, I love you. Happy, well, it's Friday now for me, so happy weekend, happy day whenever you're watching this. I'll talk to you later. Bye.